What's up, you guys? Good morning. As you could probably tell, I just got back from a really lovely bike ride with my mom. It's Sunday morning, so the roads were really clear and we just went to some of our favorite neighborhoods and went to the water and it was lovely. I figured it would be really cool to show you guys how I implement manifestation and the law of attraction into my everyday life. Before you click away because you think it's too fuddy-duddy or crazy talk or whatever, um, I would really recommend you watch my first video on law of attraction because I don't really think of it as like the universe, like magnetic, blah, blah, blah. Like I guess that's technically what it is, but I think of it more as kind of just planting a seed in your life and then taking the steps forward to let it grow. So yeah, I thought it would also be interesting just to show you how I implement it into my daily life versus like sitting down and like visualizing and manifesting because I think that's a little far off for some people, which I totally understand. And I don't even do that that often because I feel like I'm just always so busy. So it's important to implement this kind of stuff into your daily routine just to kind of grow the life that you want um, and just stay positive and contribute to your community. Okay, let's, let's walk. Oh God, I am dirty. Oh, <laughs> nope. to sit down I have my matcha bar hustle this flavor is really good they have it on Amazon zero sugar five calories we love it anywho I wanted to talk to you guys about one part of manifestation that I apply to my everyday life I think it's so incredibly important for so many reasons I know it's talked about a lot but maybe it's not implemented as much as you would like to so i want to give you ideas of how to do that so this subtopic that i'm referring to is gratitude i know everyone talks about gratitude and how important it is but i think we forget to implement gratitude and gratefulness into our everyday lives a lot just because even during quarantine things can be fast moving or if it's so slow you might not even recognize the different parts of your life that you're so grateful for the way that i like to practice gratitude is just always kind of having it in the back of my mind so an example this morning i was biking and it was so beautiful and the sun was shining and there was a breeze and i was with my mom and i just took a moment to be grateful you don't have to like think anyone in particular if you're not religious or don't believe in like the universe that's kind of my personal spirituality is um i believe in karma and i would say i'm spiritual in the sense that i think every being is connected and i think we are very connected to the earth but i have logic behind all of it which i know that's very different from some people's religious beliefs one way or the other I think it's totally fine to have whatever religious belief you have, but um, I think gratefulness plays a huge part in that and just kind of recognizing either your good fortune or something that even you worked really hard for and you got it and just being so grateful that you're at that place. There's a really popular quote that's, um, I forget what it is, I'll put it on the screen, but it basically refers to the fact that you are farther along your journey than you were a few years ago. And to just be able to reflect on that and be grateful for that is huge. Even if you acknowledge that there's parts of your journey that have a really long way to go, just saying, I'm so grateful that I'm happy. I'm grateful that I'm healthy. I'm grateful that I'm with my family. Whatever it might be for you, it can be as big or as small as you need it. But I think just throughout your day, acknowledging the amazing things that you're experiencing and the people you're encountering and the things that you're learning helps us to move forward. I think it's hard to grow when you never really acknowledge your growth that you've already had. I hope that makes sense. But I have a little bit of work to do this morning, even though it's a Sunday. We have something really exciting going up um, on home from college. So just working on final details for that. And yeah. 
I showed you guys this brand pharmacy and one of the things they sent is this honey potion antioxidant hydration mask. So I'm gonna try this out. I don't know what it is, but masks that come with their own little spatula just make me so happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, the mask is on and now, oh my God, it's so warm. <gasps> Now I'm gonna massage it in. It feels so good. Oh my God. Wait, I'm freaking out. I'm gonna wash my hands and let this sit. I feel like every vlog I have now has like a little cleaning montage. Um, and this vlog is gonna be no different. So I'm just gonna um, take the next 15 minutes when I have this face mask on my favorite playlist on that somebody made me and let's just clean up. <laughs> You guys know I love my avocado toast, but we don't have any ripe avocados, so, oh shit, <laughs> this is breakfast. Shifting our focus back to the journal, I thought this would also be a good time to film this because it's the start of a new month, just beginning July, which is crazy. I feel like in my head, summer has not started, but realistically, it's like halfway done, so don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Anywho, you guys know if you've been keeping up with my vlogs that I've been keeping a bullet journal and it's been very successful. Um, I've been really loving doing it. So basically every month I have probably like six pages of weekly and then about 10 pages of blank um, space to write my notes. And I'm gonna show you guys how I practice manifestation and law of attraction in journaling just because I know a lot of you guys like journaling and you're always looking for new prompts and ideas. So I wouldn't say I like always write down stuff that I'm manifesting or whatever into my life, but I think just checking in with yourself, checking on past lists and seeing what has come true. I think that's part of the whole like gratitude thing is checking back with yourself and seeing how far you've come. But looking forward, I think it's really fun to write out a list of different things that you want to manifest into your life, whether it's short term or long term or tangible or intangible. Um, so I'll show you how I do that. fun write with me. I've never done that before, but as you can see, obviously I would take more time if I wasn't filming this. Probably go in and add a bit more personal things, um, just that I'll want to look back on. But for my overall July page, I have I'm grateful for. This is again, just a great time for reflection. And also just looking back at the different months, being able to see like the different things in my life that brought me joy. And then I also have an affirmation. Some people like to do more religious affirmations. Some people like to do pre-written ones. But for me, this month is really about reconnecting with people and just being around those loved ones, um, whether that's friends or family or whoever. I think out of all of this Corona stuff, the thing that we can take out of it the most is the connections that we've made with people. We know that material items are not that important, but in the long run, it's really the people and our connections with other people, which I think um, has a deeper meaning for all of us. And then on the other side, I have my manifestations. And like I said, I have this month, this year, and in my lifetime. So I like to start within my lifetime, just keep it really general. These can be tangible, intangible, and you might have noticed for all of my manifestation things, it starts with I will or I am. Um, it's very important to put yourself in that position where it's not 
wishing for something or wishing for somebody else's life but really putting yourself in that position you guys might think this is crazy but my kind of thought process behind it is that you're planting the seeds you are saying to yourself that these things are important to me and subconsciously or consciously you are more likely to work towards that goal than if you didn't say that out loud or admit it to yourself or share it with friends that's how i think the law of attraction is just logical because once you know a goal that you have, you're more likely to head towards that goal than if you never set that goal in the first place. And I think whether you apply this to your entire life or if you just really wanna focus on using law of attraction for career success or financial success or relationship success, I think you can definitely hone in on that. I just think it's important to give yourself time and give yourself space and be patient with yourself. So yeah, that was my little manifestation journaling thing which again i don't do that every day but it's i definitely try to do it once a month i just flipped to this this is another manifestation from may and it's brands i want to work with companies i want to work for things i want to do those are all career manifestations so i think it's really cool to just be able to do this and look back at your different lists i'm gonna figure out what i'm doing today What's up you guys? It is July 1st. I just woke up and I'm gonna finish editing this so I can get it up today. I just wanted to kind of complete the video. I feel like this was a little bit all over the place. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on it. I just know that two things that you guys are really interested in are journaling and manifestation. If you guys are interested in me doing another sit down video where I really talk about the law of attraction and how I use it, every single day or on a bigger scale i'm happy to do that but if you prefer just seeing kind of how i implement it into my daily life whether it's at the start of the month or maybe you're starting the school year i can do another one for that um just let me know it's a huge part of my life and i love sharing it with you so i'm happy to continue making manifestation and or journaling videos if you want to stay up to date you can check out my instagram and i'm always uploading stories onto there. I apologize if you just saw my stitches, they are gnarly. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.